G'day, my name is Chris Mouflard and I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 6, Defining the 4D Playback. The aim of this video is to show you how to create 4D group sets and how we establish the 4D groups and define them. Vico Office 4D Presenter understands which elements to simulate through their cost components to tasks link. More accurately, it's the takeoff items to the takeoff quantities to the assemblies and cost components to task link, which makes this possible. This advanced process of linking model elements and driving their quantities into tasks gives us the byproduct of virtually constructing our building in a 4D simulation. Let's get started by heading to the level 6 in the Schedule Planner workflow and define the 4D simulation. Note that within the Define 4D Simulation view, we have both the 4D task groups and the task manager preloaded. We're going to start by creating a new 4D group set. This is a presentation which we can use to represent and isolate certain activities or phases of work using different display settings. For instance, we may want to show the owner a different presentation than we would want to show the concrete subcontractor. We must first click the new 4D group sets in the 4D ribbon. Let's create a group set for the concreter in this example. We can navigate to the different group sets we've created using the drop down list here. We can remove groups by using the 4D group sets manager. Our next step is to add a 4D group. We can do this by selecting the Add 4D group in the ribbon. A 4D group is essentially a group of activities which we intend to present using different display settings in the same 4D simulation. Let's create seven different 4D groups. We can edit the names by double clicking in the cell, selecting the current name and typing in our desired name. Let's complete this for the remaining 4D groups. We can modify the behavior of each 4D group as we plan to present it. Our three choices are build, which means the element associated with this group do not appear in the beginning but will remain by the end of the simulation. This is the default behavior. Our second choice is demolish which means the elements are presented at the beginning but are removed from the simulation at the end of the task. Finally, we have temporary. This means that the elements will appear at the start of the task but will not disappear when the task is finished. We can adjust the color to any color of the rainbow that you like. And finally, we can adjust the transparency in which the element will appear during the simulation. I find it cool to look at it with a 50% transparency. However, you may want to highlight the interiors fit out or otherwise. You can use a high transparency on the exteriors, but a low transparency on the interiors. Our last step is to drag and drop the corresponding task to the corresponding 4D group. Let's finish this off by first selecting in the 4D box and dragging and dropping to the corresponding 4D group. We can break down the hierarchy of that group. Alternatively, we can use the show map function to, to delineate exactly what that task that we assigned it consists of. When assigning tasks to 4D groups, I find it best to sort by name and then use the corresponding task name and then selecting a group of tasks and dropping it into the corresponding 4D group set. We are just about set. We'll see you in the next vignette to define the 4D playback. In this vignette, we have learned about how to define 4D group sets and how the presentation sets which comprise of 4D groups for presentations to a particular audience. We've also learned how to define the 4D groups and how we can customize them to show certain tasks and associate colors by that task. 